hello, and welcome back to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Kruszewski. I'm a creature and character concept artist working in the industry today. I've been in the industry for 12 years and teaching at Noman School for nine years. So we're going to talk about some monsters today. I've got a special guest. He's my co-host. He's the top gun to my eyes wide shut. It's Matt Miller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a good one. <laughs> I liked it. I, I tried to go with Got Tun. Yeah, man. Did you see Top Gun? I did not, but uh, I mean, so far, everybody looks like they're having a good time. It's wild because they, Tom Cruise is in it and there's planes in it. Do those air like I have a question is like do those airplanes go fast? They go and the yeah, that's the thing because he has this need for speed, right? Everybody uh, knows that. Does that take him to some kind of place that is dangerous? Yeah. Maybe even, you know, some kind of area. <laughs> some kind of area, yeah. And you know, the you would call it the danger zone, I believe. I'm sorry, yeah. what? Yeah. He takes you right to the danger zone. Wow, that's catchy. Mm -hmm. Super catchy. Uh, so I hope everybody had a nice holiday. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, you got some rest. Hey, what's up, Anthony? What's Welcome. Up? What's, what's up? up? Welcome. We're back to No Press Noodle Sash Part 2. Because we want to just keep working on cool stuff. And sometimes cool stuff takes a lot of time to make. It's a no preshy seshi. <laughs> it's a seshi. It's a seshi, but no preshy. No preshy. Only no preshy. seshi. Now, maybe, you know, we were talking about it. And uh, we were talking about maybe doing a preshy seshi next time. <laughs> That's right. We might start bringing back a preshy sesh. <laughs> Super fresh. Yeah, it might be fresh. Might be big time fresh. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll, we'll uh, let's uh, let's do a check in. Let's yeah, do a let's check -in. do it. Let's do it. All right. So last time, last time on Creature Corner. Last time. I spent two hours. Basically dressing this, uh, dressing this uh, little uh, staff here, his evil staff. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, since then, I've I've kind of closed the hand around the staff. I still have some like more work to do. I want to close like the fingers up. Mm -hmm. uh, but the staff, I feel, is pretty much done now that I've got like more roots and bark and just kind of dressing, breaking up the silhouette, and then. Uh, just kind of want to tweak the pose a little bit, just a little bit more, make it a little bit cooler. And that's, you know, just kind of lifting this arm up, you know, messing with the fingers. And then today I've got this plugin called Spider Z. What's and that, uh, I'm going to, I'm hopefully going to test this out. I have not tested it out. This could go very wrong. But you're going to leave really a mystery, cool. like, though. You make spider webs and stuff really easy. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, super awesome. And the uh, the guy who scripts these, he's got a bunch of other plugins uh, that are really cool. Leaves and other stuff. Uh, I'm Moss. surprised they didn't call it, like, Master, like, Master Spider Z. Master right? Spider. Because, like, every tool in ZBrush is a master. Right? I mean, but also, like, master. Spider like spider Z. I mean, it's, Spider Z works. Spider Z is dope. Maybe two, maybe two point oh. They throw in a master. Two, uh, like spider, it, you know, master crisis. spider. Then, yeah, then it's, it's, awesome. it just summons a large spider. <laughs> that, like sits over your shoulder <laughs> and mm. directs you. That it's is like, no, no, over there, over there. That is terrifying, yeah. and I hate that. <laughs> so uh, that's the plan today: is uh, work a little bit more on the pose, uh, maybe get some spider webs in there. And then uh, also start up, uh, start getting my lighting set up. Yeah. So basic, you know, basic setup and stuff. And then uh, once we get the light set up, we'll start doing some materials, make that look uh, like a fat nasty. Couple fat nasties for Couple you. Couple fat nasties. And then we're going to figure out some other ways that we can kind of dress the model, make it look um, 
even cooler. You know, I'm thinking about fibers, break more breakup. Um, and then uh, maybe we'll start working out a little scene for him using some mega scans or something like that. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time making some skelly. Uh, man, you know it sounds like a good time. Uh, well, I think uh, I think I'm ready to have a good time. So oh, uh, fun. So Matt, why don't you take us to the check-in? Matt's yeah, about to do the check-in. I'm about to do the check-in. He's about to do the check-in. Yeah, this is a uh, the split split giant concept I started a very long time ago uh, on this show, and I've just been uh, slowly working on its armor really over the last what great. couple of months, um, and the you know the the language and this stuff just kind of it kind of creates the rest of the set, right? Like you make one little piece, you establish like some design on it and you're like, okay, I'm just going to duplicate this stuff around, start putting it in places. You're like, I like all of it. Yeah. And it just, it just naturally lives together. You know what I mean? Cause it's all the same language. But now last week started getting back into actually sculpting on the creature itself, kind of getting into this whole, like, uh, two separate personalities here and this guy jared had this great idea with making the tongue kind of branch off into a bunch that's of right little, that's right little tongues yeah yeah definitely uh yeah definitely a cool dark souls vibe um but i even made this sword check the sword out here that's actually right. can i just how do you how do you do this is the sword made of feet Oh, the, the view uh, the... is the sword made of feet. <laughs> it could be, it could be, it could be made of feet if you wanted. There we uh, go. What, what you do with the 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 view things yeah. is every time you click a new one, it's gonna it's gonna have everything visible. So you have to click off everything that you don't want in that layer, and then uh, when you click back. Then, then it'll be stored. Then, it'll, then it will be stored. Be oh stored. no! I'm the thing. The thing that I have an issue with, and I have figured out a way how to do it. I can't remember, but you know, like whenever you shift click all your sub tools, they either turn on or turn off. Doing that with folders can be tricky. It can be. It can be because, and, and there's also this thing that it does where it leaves the last item that it has the last item that you selected visible, and so even if you're trying to like get off into a new sub tool that thing can be still visible is annoying my well, I'll probably just i'll probably keep going on this this skin texture stuff and start to sew up this uh this whole body and maybe get a pose in because yeah. i mean it's been it's been long enough it's been six weeks but look at this man he's got like oh, a, he's a little jewel and the, huh. the, the skeleton hands are holding it. They're all tied together. I still got to make a belt to kind of go all the way around. But that's the same the same kind of language I was using from the sword. So, yeah, we're going right. to get there. Might even get yeah. some, some painting in or something. Who knows? We're, it's all, you know, the, the deal is it's, it's just it's not a pressy session. It, it's not a pressure session. It's not a, you know, we're just having... A go. We're having a good time. We having a go at me. We having a go. Um, yeah, man. Did you have a good weekend? You were working. Did I have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Uh, you know, yeah, man. I played some D and D on a, I don't know, Sunday maybe. We had a chicken wing cook off on Saturday with my. Me and all my uh, best buds, we went over to my boy Sam's house and cooked up a bunch of fried, baked, and smoked chicken wangs. Chicken wangs. That sounds. That was that was uh, it was very fun. Was that fun sounds time. very nice. That sounds yeah. like a uh, it's, a it's thing that, that one that, would do. On it's that Ar Arkansas life, you know. That's that Arkansas life. Yeah. What yeah, about yourself? Been, I visited my parents in Canyon Lake. And if you like canyons, <laughs> I tell you, you're going to like this place. If you like canyons and you're a fan if of lakes. If you like canyons and you like lakes. Let me tell you. People have boats. 
It's going to be dope. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be real good. Oh, we had a good time. Watched a lot of movies. I've watched Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers about 400 times. Yeah, I've been uh, been wanting to watch that, honestly. Just only, is- for, only for like the whole like Uncanny Valley sequence and there's, all that stuff. There's a lot of like really fun like industry kind of in jokes. Yeah. Uh one like one thing is uh in the Uncanny Valley there's a character with hair, right? Yeah. And this is you know, um but the hair has like old school jitter, like graphic oh. jitter. So it doesn't wow. right. yeah, and like that's some like level to that's you know, like next level, yeah. That's some, like next level, like wow, we're CG is so advanced that we're making fun of old CG. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that's, that that's we a, that level yeah. of like it's a different the level of meta of CG as an in joke. Yeah. You know, that we can joke about the uncanny valley. Because at one point <laughs> that's just what we had. Yep. It was just really bad CGI. Man, you remember the the Flintstones movie that that tiger, that yes. saber tooth tiger scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> There's always some like, uh, I you know for me I I go back to Lost in Space that little mm-hmm. monkey. Yeah. Guy. Oh, oh, he stands out. He sure uh, does. You know, but like that that's there's something about that that kind of makes it a treasure of its time. You know, this is what they were. This was like advanced. Yeah. For the day. And everyone loved it. And everyone loved it and had a good time and no one ever complained. It's all true. But uh, it is it is really funny and there's a lot of really good uh, industry in jokes. There's a lot of characters that um, you would spot from really old cartoons. Yeah. And uh, and they're there just, just as kind of a gag. And then Necromancer uh, Giant, exactly. See this guy gets right? it. Right? Super cool. He gets it. Super cool. Dude, I mean it looks is it is it hilarious? It's is very it funny? funny. It's yeah. very, very funny. Yeah, it really is on my list. Uh, among like, you know, fifty odds and ends in horror films. Oh I know. Oh I know. man, I want to watch uh Chip and Dale. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's like Kenobi and then Chip and Dale. Uh, I just watched Kenobi. And just uh, watch uh, both what episodes. Were your, what were your thoughts? On have you seen? Have you seen it? I have not. I saw a commercial for it. How was How was the commercial? I haven't seen the commercial. You know, the commercial uh, advertised the show. It did. Yeah, it tells you what's in the show and who's okay. in it. Okay. Yeah. That's, that helps. <laughs> it was. <laughs> that helps. I found it very helpful. <laughs> there is a uh, one one takeaway from uh, the Obi Wan show so far is that in the first episode they recap all of the prequels, so you don't even have to ever watch those in your. Entire you don't life. ever so have. Like, oh, you're like this is like this is great. Like just give me the meaty stuff, and now we're back in. <laughs> but is that gonna is that gonna like really get somebody who? Are they, is that going to get somebody who's never seen Star Wars and they're starting on Kenobi? But what? <laughs> wow! They're like, they're like, they're like, yeah, Disney Plus, huh? <laughs> let, let me check it out. Let me, Disney Plus, huh? And then they're and they're like, Star Wars, never. Uh, I wouldn't watch it. Yeah, uh, man. I mean, dude. So far, um, like, is it? Really- is it- you see, yeah, you I'm, sound impressed. I'm really, really not impressed, dude. Oh, you're not? <laughs> no, man. Like, it's it's kind of rough, I think. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I think oh, I, I think it's kind of rough, dude. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Oh, like, yeah. You know? I, I mean, like, just... look, uh, 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 you know, we all we all enjoy thing, our things. So, yeah, a little, a little rough. Huh? So, I mean, let me, let me open... Just by saying, I have an unconditional love for Star Wars. I don't care how bad it is. It's still Star Wars. It's still fun. I love it. This show, I'm like, okay. I have an unconditional love for Star Wars. <laughs> you know, I'm like, well, it's okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe it, uh, maybe it really, 
Then it really picks up. But it is exciting. I can tell you that. It is exciting. I mean, just for for what's about to come up and the whole story behind it, you're like, I want to see that. I wanna, okay, so I there's see what's so, going on with that. So even though you feel it's it's rough, you're still excited for where for where it could go or where they're planning to go. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it's like, it's Obi Wan and Darth Vader, man. Yeah, I mean that's very, come on. <laughs> like that's yeah, they're best friends. Yeah, they love each other, and they that's love, the issue. They really have a good time. Very uh, similar to uh, Goose and Maverick. I mean, and, like in Top Gun, and I bet you didn't know this. They actually remade the first one. Oh, well, that's they all they did. That's just like all they did. What? Uh, uh, Top with, Top, with Top Gun Maverick, yeah. The, the, so, the movie does start with Danger Zone, no joke. Really? <laughs> yeah. But is it like a moody, like cool danger? Like, Oh, no. No. Highway 2. No, man. No. No, we're not going to do that. We don't want that. It's just, it's just we are starting with the Danger Zone. It was a, it was a but, I mean, like that. every everyone. And fun is important, you know? They're all saying it's great. Yeah, fun is important, and uh, fun stuff rules. I will say, if if you're not a if you're not a fan of Top Gun, then like if you haven't seen the first one, you're basically like, oh, okay, I probably should have seen the first one, right? I uh, so you should definitely see the first. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You should know what the property is. You need to know what's going on in that gun to, that's on top. You need to get with it, Jack. Jack Stevens, attorney and yeah. doctor. <laughs> attorney, doctor, philanthropist, professional juggler. Sideshow clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ventriloquist. He's a mintriloquist. He's a nim triloquist. That means you have three trilo- triloquists. Trilo- it's a triloquy at that point, I believe. Is that uh, what they call that? Trilly, trilly. Triloquy. Triloquy. Okay. So I got him posed, at least. Nice, dude. Posed a little bit more like. He's just there to party down you know he's like i've, I've got one finger what like, is I, will, I will show you my finger yeah it looks great all right well i think i'm ready to uh see if i'm ready to break my machine okay that sounds good play. yeah it's gonna be cool we're gonna have into good- it i'm into it uh Heads up to any of you. Let us know if you have any questions for us. Industry-wise, movie-wise. Let us know how your weekend was. Did you see any movies? Have you eaten a hot dog? Have you eaten a hot dog? How many hot dogs have you eaten in a row? Yeah, what's your highest number? And also, have you ever sat down and just eaten a block of cheese? Like a block of... Oh... I just like want to know. Whole block or like a like. I just a want to know. I just want to know who the real ones are, man. Sometimes you got to sit down and eat a block of cheese. Well, it's more like, like for me, it's more of like a four a.m. trip to the refrigerator. Right. The refrigerator's right. open. Right. Doors open. Shredded right. cheese in the right. mouth. Shredded Four's cheese the to back. the face. Yeah. 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 Right, straight to the dome. You grip it really hard. Yeah. Until it melts in your hand, like it squeezes together into a cheese ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because yeah, you can form it into like a perfect vessel to just eat shape, as much you can as shape possible. It. Yeah. You can shape it to fit your gullet. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a block of cheese, though. Yeah, yeah. It's been years since I've eaten a hot dog, and for good reason. Okay. Oh man. Okay. That's good. That's a okay. good reason. That is a good reason, man. Reason. If you've got I, a good reason, you've got a good reason. <laughs> We're going to talk about reason. We love reasons. We love reason. Reason. I'm trying to think, reason. Trying to think if I've seen. Have you Have you seen anything recently? I know I've seen. Oh yeah, I watched Top Gun. I, I think I saw uh, something uh, else. Prehistoric Planet. 
Oh yeah, is that awesome? Oh, it's awesome, dude. Um, the the craftsmanship of the CGI is is on another level. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's great, buddy. Um, yeah, the, I've seen uh, I've seen like one or two uh, little snips online, and it's just like wow, snip. dude. Yeah, looks uh, looks incredible. But you know, it's that Ted Lasso network, and I just can't I, get into it. They do uh, they do a Ted Lasso uh, commercial in the middle of it. Like one of the dinosaurs <laughs> gets up, he puts on a mustache, and he. Like, <laughs> That's real, by the way. That's real. That actually happens. I mean, I'm yeah. not making that up. <laughs> <laughs> Once I found part. what they put in him, I was done. Uh, you should try the Impossible hot dogs. I like those. And they're made of plant matter. They're impossible, Your Honor. Your Honor. I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down, Your Honor. I stepped on a bee. No, you step. I stepped on a <laughs> bee. You stepped on a bee? My dog stepped on a bee. Oh, no. Today? No, that's not real. I was making fun of a pop culture reference oh. right now with the with wow. the, uh, with the stuff. Okay. And then... Oh. Yeah, this dude's getting. Is that you or was that me? That, that was me. Oh, thank God. I was. Um, I got scared. I was trying this little spider web plug. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Uh, you just uh, like, what are you doing? It's pretty press, neat. Press a couple of points together. Well, it, it, one, one thing it can do is, uh, you know, and I'm just like picking this up, but one thing it can do is uh, you can use your transpose tool. Mm hmm. And that kind of sets the distance of where you want it to go. And then you just hit boop, and it makes a little spider web. Oh. And then, uh, you can also set, like, how arky it is. And uh, other things, I still have, like, some testing to do with it. But uh, I like this but result so far. But it's promising. Yeah, very promising. Like, if, um, if you've ever tried to make anything complex and stringy, it's just always a pain in the butt. So the question is, like, do you do dynamics? Do you do anything like this? So this Spider Z plugin uh, seems to do pretty cool. I like turtles. I like turtles. I like we, turtles. We have Jonathan the zombie here at the zoo today. <laughs> Where is that? Zombie. I like turtles. I like turtles. Let me tell you something, friend. I like turtles. Mm. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. We, uh, we got like spooky, we got spooky beats <laughs> yeah. volume 10 going on in the background. Full out Timbo. You see right? the, uh, I love the little psycho circus. You see the uh, artwork or the, uh, I guess the practical makeup paint test that's that's out now i think grizzetti just shared it of the uh the new stranger things monster oh uh, yeah i like i loved it the uh, Ve vecna or something but, yeah i mean it looks it looks great it just has that it has those uh that resident evil tyrant vibe you yeah, know? yeah yeah i was just like man that's like the tyrant from resident evil one uh, looks uh the, the paint job looks great Olsen, uh, right now on the chat, on the, in the chat house, he's uh, he loves Stranger Things. He's telling us how much he loves it. Wrote a wrote a old dissertation on it. Yeah, it's really good. Very very excited. He likes it. I think he likes it. And uh, I don't like this merry go round. I'm gonna change that. Merry go round. Merry. Go Marble. Marvin Fidarvas. Look, let me tell you about my friend Marvin. Let me tell you about Marvin. He's got some issues, but he Daniels his way home every night. He <laughs> Daniels his way home. Oh, Marvin man. Daniels. Marvin Daniels. And you know what his profession is. He's Marvin time. 
Oh man, Marvin? he's a, he's an attorney at law. Ah, oh, he's the doctor. He's doctor <laughs> attorney at law. I don't know what this guy is doing. Yeah, has anyone watched the new Stranger Things in this uh in this stream? Has anyone seen that? Is, is, it, is it good? Is it fun? Matt and I worked on Stranger Things back back in the day. We sure did. Sure did. Sure did, John. That was a real uh, that was a real collab. It was. It was a it was a full awesome. blown full blown collaboration. That was the first the first show I got to design on. What? And I designed the toilets in the bathroom. That's so, right, you did. Yeah, that's what I did. That's yeah. accurate. <laughs> okay. Uh, recently watched. Uh, my buddy hadn't seen Waxwork, so we watched Waxwork. Have you seen Waxwork? Waxwork. Yeah. No, I don't think I've seen. Oh, dude, it's incredible. Is it? The late eighties. And basically, this waxwork pops up in the middle of a suburban uh, a neighborhood, just out of the blue. You know, like a wax museum, right? Yeah. And um, it's very, like, kitschy and goofy, you know? But it, okay. it, the premise is awesome. So this guy has gone around and collected all of these ancient artifacts from different, like, evil people like a vampire and a werewolf and the mummy and all this other shit. And he has all of these wax works set up in different little sections. And he only allows six people in at a time. And these people that come in, if they cross over the threshold of the, uh, of the little scene, they go into that world and then have to face that, that, uh, creature or whatever it is. It's, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> and, 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 uh, okay. Okay. They be they become it, right? They it's like they hop it's like they hop into it, right? Okay. They just go in there and they're like, "Oh, now I'm this person at a cabin and there's a werewolf here," kind of thing. Or oh, now okay. I'm in, or now I'm in a castle and I'm at dinner with Dracula, you know, kind of thing, right? Oh, I'm into that. It's a it's a solid one. Good eighties, good eighties fun right there. I mean, I've I've heard of it. I I don't think I've ever seen it. Um question is is it possible to morph between two sculpted creatures in zbrush like a werewolf transformation uh okay. i mean like you I mean, would have to do yes. it all yeah i mean like yes yeah. so you would have to do it um all your sub tools are like all your objects would have to be on one it would all have to be one object right? mm -hmm. yeah you would have you would have hey no Stop that. Stop that. So, Stop that, Slayer. Calm down. Um, basically, what, what they do now, what we do now is we just use like Z-Wrap or, or, or uh, Wrap 3D, right? And so I have the Z-Wrap plug-in, and here it's literally just integral into ZBrush, and it's that, that Russian 3-Wrap uh, software. So if you had like a human sculpt, and then you had a creature that didn't share the same topology... You're basically going to wrap your human topology around your creature topology, and then you would have to uh, basically you transfer this, all that over. This is like assuming that that's, it's a bipedal creature, right? <laughs> or I mean, it's yeah, yeah. That's that's like that's just like human human level base, like human stuff. to human, like human to human is pretty. Easy. And then and then you're gonna have to do that like six more times for your different levels of variations if if you go further and further in the mesh it's a uh, i mean the the answer is yes but it's also like very complex especially in like production level stuff we get like houdini involved on stuff like that and just wrap a whole skin around it and finish it off with like you know the fascial pass and the muscle pass and all that stuff and everything's just getting wrapped on top of everything that's transforming over and over and over again. And that was my rant. That was his rant. Uh, I mean, to 
the answer is yes. Ultimately, yes, you can do that. Just put it on a, a layer on a blend shape. But like all your tools, the eyes and teeth and all that stuff, it's all got to be on the same layer with all the same subdivisions. Uh, so that's how I would do it. But uh, yeah, you you can totally do that. Um, uh, for production, it's a lot more complicated, <laughs> obviously. But, yeah, I, th I think I just went into full production mode. Yeah, you went into full production mode for, for yeah. like, you know, concept. I'll, although, like, concept, I'm, I'm not sure why you would, unless you're, like, trying to just show an animation of a blend shape. Right. I mean, that's pretty much what you would want to do with it, right? It's just a blend shape and uh, blend shape in Maya or something like that. Maya, yeah. Maya in the Maya. Right in the Moira. Right in the Moira. Open up a new Moira. I'll put up a, a new Myra. <laughs> Good old. <laughs> you know Myra. We know Myra. That's pretty cool. I know there's more like complex ways to get. Because he's, he's even got stuff where you can um, add webs in between the webs here. And I've just. I should have paid attention to the tor tutorial. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, new toy! Woo! Mm -hmm. We'll try it. But we'll try it. I swear to God, John, I'll try it. I'll if try it. If you it can't means stop we me. can save this mission, I'll try it. I mean, and, and in some ways, that's kind of like the test is like, can my... Like, if I could use it, then anybody can use it. <laughs> like, if you guys want me to test something, I'll break it. I promise. That is the thing with, like, CG tools. You're, like, even – you just pop it up and you're like, all right, I can figure this out. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. and then, like, an hour in, you're like, man, I've really got to read, like, two hours on a website how to, and watch a video. I'm like, oh, damn, man. dude. Like, it just bums you out, dude. You're like, ah. Yeah, you're, you're like, oh, I have – so much homework to do. <laughs> Nothing is easy. I just want the thing to work. Oh, dude, that's like using Yeti, man. Getting that thing installed properly on your machine will take days, just in general. Okay. It the, it's it's wild. And then anything beyond the basic stuff, even to get to the basic stuff, there's there's a lot of steps you got to take. It's wild, man. But for, you know, for, but Yeti for fur, right? Right. Yeah. Hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There I go again. Right there I go again. Production. production. Here I go killing again. There. Look at me. Uh, Yims. Yim Yimmy. Timmer. Yimmer. Yiminson. Yimmery. Oh, that's testing. I'm like, eh, I don't even know if I want it now. What else did I say I was going to do? A little bit of tweaking, a little bit of. Something about a lighting scene, maybe a little bit of a pose, maybe a little something little here, something pose, there, something like that. A little bit of an environment there. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm getting close. The man is a yim. He's been yimming for ten years. It's all he's ever known. I do want to add a little bit of, like, wind in the cloth. Wind. Yeah, sounds good. Make sure you store your morph targets, kid. Hear about. Oh. And you sculpt in real life and link it to a digital sculpt. If you photogram it, uh, you can bring it into your 3D software and try and basically reverse engineer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like your phone, like basically photogram, you know, is taking hundreds of photos of the clay putting it into software, which, you know, turns it into point data and then uh, exporting that kind of interpolates that point data and then uh, exports it. Um, but like, you know, you, you could go through all that stuff <laughs> to get your clay in, into, uh, <laughs> into yeah. the real world. Uh, I, actually, uh, the iPad Pro has um, really cool 
uh, apps associated with um, reality capture. And yeah, so it has. They have. They have it, lidar sensors. Some really good. Uh, really good stuff. So. You got lidar sensors in there. So. Yeah, they got lidar sensors in it's, them. It's it's going to take a couple of years, I think, until like the software is really up to par. But what it's capable of is it's there. Yeah, it's uh, it's really good. Um, you know, and then there's always a little bit of cleanup that has to happen with scan data anyway. Oh yeah. So. Really, <laughs> like, how much work do you want to do? Yeah, like the ultimate question is like, what's like, the end? It's like, what's the end goal? Right? What's the end like, goal? Is is the end goal to get that sculpture in a game or like some setting? Or is someone paying you to have it one to one exactly from the real? You know, like, because a lot of times, like, you can solve your problems a lot easier just thinking about workflow. Like, okay, now that I know it takes so much to do this one task, what if I took a bunch of pictures and built it in 3d or i don't know again i don't know what the goal is but See, it is possible for this sure is why I'm, I'm more excited for ar sculpting just the idea of it is um more exciting to me than vr because like imagine putting on some glasses and then like sitting down and sculpting some virtual clay and then like an environment mm -hmm. you don't have to you know stare at a, at a gray screen i think that would be nice it would be nice. That would be nice, but I'm dreaming again. There he goes, dreaming. There he goes, dreaming again. Dreaming of a better tomorrow. Dreaming of a Harford Barton. Oh, that Harford. He's a bastard. You son of my dad. How dare you share your milk with me? <laughs> You offer your milk to me. Of all people. Of all people. Uh, AA says, uh, you know what? You're right. And we are right. That is true. We are, we are the most uh, right people. Yeah, I mean, I don't know right. if... I don't know if anyone's ever been more correct than uh, the both of us. Than, than us, specifically, yeah. at this moment in time. Yeah, like, yeah. right now. Yeah. Pretty nuts, if you think about it. Uh, sir, I'm from the Pentagon, and I saw your Creature Corner segment. <laughs> you are... You are you right. Are, you are right. You are man. right, man. This is coming from the big man upstairs. You are right. All, all the way at the top. <laughs> you did it. You did it. You were right. Time for that. Time for that save. Gotta, gotta oh, always be saved. Always save. Always be saved. Always be saving. And then uh, remember, kids, turn off your uh, quick save history for a faster save. You gotta turn that off and lighter file sizes, guys. It's so lighter. Important. Oh man, because you know, undo history makes uh, makes your files big. And then all of a sudden, you're like, you're looking at your. Uh, you're, you're looking at your hard drive and you're like, how did that fill up so quickly? And then you delete your quick saves and suddenly like it's all gone. Right. And then you, know, you delete your hard drive surprise. and It'll you're like, me. you delete your hard drive and you're like, wow, I just ruined everything. I, I just, can't uh, you know, I can't even believe I'm real. I, you know, you have to enter the simulation again. Literally can't believe I'm a real person. I can't believe I have feet. <laughs> Feels good to have toes. Feels um, good to feet. stand up, right? Feels good to stand I, up. I sit right. all day. That's true. I, I sit it. I, I do that as well. So I've got a little swoosh in his cape. <laughs> Dude, Ooh, bless swoosh. me. Did you uh, snart? I snarted. <laughs> I did a little snarvin. A little snart. You know, the, the older you get, your um, the risk of snarting goes way up. <laughs> it's a snart zone. That's what Tom Cruise is really worried about. I mean, he and he's got a snarter on him, dude. I mean, famous snart. Dude loves 
dude's got a full blown. Dude nose. loves to do like dangerous stunts. Like you, you go to any character creator and you max out that nose. That's Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> he's got that big, powerful nose, ready for like, stunts. You know what? Good for stunts. him for Good never stunts. changing his nose. Yeah, thank God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, good for him. Yeah, yeah. Brave. He gets to come to that thing that celebrities, you know, they get a little work done, they get a little lift, a little nip, a little tuck. A little snart. A little, a little snart, snart connection. Well, they start snarting, and that's why they want to get the, the tuck. Yeah. You know, you, you snart and then tuck. They're like, I don't want to look the same. You got. I want. I want to look like I'm made of cat people. I want to make. <laughs> I'm made of cat people. Like I'm made of cat people, not yeah, made like, of a cat. Yeah, person. they've been, they've been hacked together to make me a human. And this is my real nose that I was born with. This is my real human nose. There we go. We're getting close, close to that, close to the future. All right, I'll send it over. You gonna send it over? You gonna start going to? Send it over. I'm gonna buy shop. a hat. That's nice, dude. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something nice for him. Nobody I mean, does anything nice for Skeletor. Yeah, everybody's kind of upset with him, to be honest. Kind of bad dude, I guess. I mean, I guess he doesn't uh, make the best decisions. But... He's always trying to uh, have the power. Yeah, he needs the power. He, he needs, feels like he needs the power. And he wants the power of Grey Skull for himself. That's right. And, well, I mean, dude, he's got a Grey Skull on his face. It, he, uh, it's yellow in the in the original card. So here's the deal. Maybe the guy that named the island was colorblind, or maybe they didn't even have a name for the color yellow. That's all I'm saying, okay? He's got a skull. He's got a skull. Do you remember the original Skeletor figurine? It had that, like, squishy skull face? Yes, I do. And it was I, awesome. I do remember that. What do you think, Matt? Should, his, should I bring his arm up a little bit more? I, keep uh, with, I don't want it to be, like, too high, because then I got to, like... Do all this stuff again. Yeah, okay, so right there. So are you asking about his right one or his left one? Uh, this one. I don't know what this one means. The the one without the staff. Okay, got it. Uh, man, looks cool. Okay, Red. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope. Yeah. I'm going to buy him my hat. Yeah, looks cool. Um, <laughs> he's simply misunderstood. <laughs> uh, nah. hey man um, have you guys hey. reached any point in your life as artists I have not reached any point in my life uh, when you feel you are not that good but everyone else thinks you are good that's the imposter syndrome uh, yeah man all the time Like, it's is really, that not every day or yeah that, it's, okay. it's really um, look it's really normal to feel that way so, um, like, okay, you ever, you ever show your art to a non-art person and, oh, yeah. and they're like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. You, you animate like, for Disney. You are, <laughs> but no, but they freak out. Like, I would yeah. buy you a biscuit. They are. <laughs> I would like, buy you a biscuit. They're having a good time, man. They buy biscuits. It's, you they know, it's normal biscuits. thing. Um, but like, look, just show your art to a non-art person and they're going to be amazed because to them it's magic. Um, uh, uh, I had a, uh, you know, I, I show, you know, I show stuff to my stepdad and he, he, he was a sheriff. And so like for him, it's, uh, it's all magic. Like he, mm -hmm. he's like, wow, you make that. And, and I try to explain, like, yeah, it's the uh, topology, vertices, and uh, uh, and all that stuff. And he's like, well, I don't know what you said, man, but it, it's cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when you, uh, but when you're talking to artists, other artists, uh, we all know the lingo. We know the the amount of effort it takes, and uh, it it, you know, and then we also compare ourselves to others. It's very natural. 
Yeah. Um, we're com artists are competitive, but we're, you know, we're singularly lonely in our, you know, in our craft because it's just you making stuff by yourself. So it's very normal, uh, basically. And um, so don't don't beat yourself up about it. Uh, don't um, you know? Don't dwell on it. The key is to just keep doing what you're doing and focus on your progress. Yeah. Um, and that's it. You know, like just, just focus on you yourself as an artist and making the things that you like, as you keep making things you like, you'll get better and you'll feel better. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a process. So very natural. Um, uh, but yeah, like show your art to, to anybody else, literally like, go, oh, you know, and, and they're going to think it's amazing. And um, truly, it, the ability to make things from your brain is a gift. Yeah, it's awesome. It's very, it's very beautiful. And uh, like, if anyone tells you not to do it, just uh, tell them to fuck off <laughs> yeah. and do it. <laughs> I mean, like that's kind of, um, you know, I, I... I was stubborn my whole life. Like people telling me not, teachers telling me not to draw in class. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I was it. in trouble for, I mean, constantly, that's all I did. Constantly in trouble. That's all I did. And then my, you yeah. know, yeah. I mean, millions of stories we could probably get into for sure, but that's definitely like the stigma, right? Like I grew up a going to private school in a small town uh, in Arkansas. And so, Every Mortal Kombat or Resident Evil thing I drew, they were like, you can't be using your gifts to be making It's stuff. so violent. Yeah, and I'm like, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, they, they told me, like, my drawing was distracting the other students mm -hmm. because they wanted to watch me draw. Oh, hey, man, huge compliment. There you go. You're doing that, it. You're, hey, already, you're already doing it right. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was already demoing for other people. Um. But like, yeah, like uh, uh, all those people has told you you couldn't do it or you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't listen to them. Like, I'm gonna do what makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, going see. and going, yeah. Yeah. Is what yeah, makes see. me. I'm just gonna tumble around key shot like this all day. Do that. I'm just gonna do this all day. Uh, I think I need any more dressing. Um, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, pretty much it's, it's, uh, compete with yourself, like, but do it in a healthy way, not in a self-destructive way. Um, and I, that's, that's also a lesson that I've had to learn where, you know, you can be in your head and you can be really self-destructive to yourself about, and about your art. And, and what's that thing that we all do? We all go. Oh, I'll never be good enough. I'll never be like X, so X, and so, X. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes it so hard is just because, you know, we're saturated with so many incredible artists already, you know, and you want to be good. You want to be good immediately, you know, but these other people have been doing it for like, you know, I don't know, maybe their whole life. <laughs> maybe they've yeah. got 20 years on you. Maybe they got 50 years on you. And maybe then they got that, five years on yeah. you, you know. But then also, like, don't discount that, like, you might be a hero to somebody else. Like, yeah. you might be an art hero to someone else that you don't know. Like, they're following you. You know, that's cool. And we're into cool stuff. We like cool things, and we don't like bad things. Bad things are bad. Cool things are dope. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it's uh, simple math. Guys, it's a simple it. formula. <laughs> good things are good and bad things are not good as good they're not as good <laughs> they're not like they're not optimal is how I feel about it so basically I'm just like tumbling around this you know evaluating little things uh, oh I need to send it over again but I'm lowering this uh, staff a little bit so I can get it into more of a composition. So at this stage, like, 
don't worry about materials or lighting just yet. Just look at your model in Keyshot and like evaluate it. Like look at it with the camera. Do you like the pose? Do you like uh, the sculpting? Now is not the time for lighting and materials. You're jumping ahead. And, uh, you know, I, I like it. I think I want to buy him a ham sandwich. Dude loves his hammy sammies. Yeah. I'm doing some Watch light painting. Uh, did you end up watching any of the uh, new He-Man stuff? No. I said, I said it was dope. That's it. It was cool. Okay. There I like him. I mean, dude, I like He-Man too. Yeah, he's cool. I like He-Man as well. You like the man of He. Yeah, he's, you know, a re he's redundant. And that's what I like about him. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like saying... Uh, <laughs> Guy, sir, man. Yeah. Her, 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 lady. Herb. Here comes her girl. She's her on. She's, girl. she's she's on the way. Her woman. Yeah, I mean, like that whole uh, all of He Man was like focus tested. They were like, uh, well, kids like to say they like to have the power. So uh, yeah, they love having it. They, those kids love having power. And uh, really, who could blame them? Right. All right. Everyone's having a good time. Here we go. Gonna get a yeah. fish whistle. I'm doing some painting on my guy just to start realizing. Getting some color in it. More than gray. More than gray. We want more than gray. In our line of work, we want more than gray. I find color coding is, uh, I've been color coding earlier on. Just like, just a break up material. I find it's helpful. I We're think, having a good time. I think that you're having a good time. I think uh, David is like still going in the chat. Uh, you talking about Facebook chat? Yeah. He's, oh, been man. Talking, he's been talking to himself for like a, uh, a whole thread. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't surprise like, me. You... you guys don't get it. <laughs> you guys don't. Listen, stranger things. It's just that they're a little too strange. I don't get why they're so strange all the time. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. You know what I mean? Obligated to. Got to see it. Got to see everything. Those are the rules. <laughs> you uh, have to watch everything. <laughs> Those are the absolute rules I hold uh, in my life. I mean, like, there's so much stuff out there. Might as well watch it all. You gotta see it. You know, you're gonna die one day. <laughs> might as well see some movies. Might as well watch everything <laughs> ever made by. <laughs> might as well see some movies. <laughs> might as well listen. Okay. Okay. Go here. Let's fill that object. How does that feel? We're gonna take it to maybe right there. Maybe. Like that. Gotta sing a little bit. If you're gonna be doing anything, you gotta sing a Look, little bit. Look, you gotta bit. make sound effects and you gotta sing a little bit. You gotta sing a little bit and you gotta make sound effects. Those are the rules. Uh, another question. Hey, hey, with all the questions, I like it. Keep them coming, man. Um, have you noticed in animation VFX studios are looking for artists a lot more than before? Is it because there's more shows going on or artists migrating to other jobs or new generations are not into it? Um, are looking for artists a lot more? Then before, is it because yeah. there's more shows going on or Argus migrating to other jobs or new generations are not into it? We might have to, might have to figure that out. out. We are, like yeah, a, we like have a little clarity. Room. Yeah, maybe yeah. condense or like, like, pinpoint. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our, our animation VFX studio is looking for a lot more artists than before. I mean, I, I don't know specifically if that's the case. Like, 
it seems like uh, there's a, you know, for a while, there's a lot of, um, there, there was like a, a, a big bloat, you know, of um, VFX jobs and animation jobs. Um, Netflix recently laid off their, a big chunk of their animation department. So I don't know. I mean, they're always going to need movies with big visual effects. That's what's, you know, help sell the movie. Mm -hmm. Doctor Strange is just a big uh, blowout movie with lots of crazy stuff happening. All that stuff has to get designed, problem solved. Uh, you need a lot of people for that. Um, not just that, but like there's game studios. There's lots of game studios um, from like AAA blockbuster you know, game studios all the way down to mobile games. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so there's a lot of, if you're an artist, there's a lot of jobs out there um, for you. You just have to find like what you like to do, but get a process that you get good at and that people would want to pay money for. Right. Just do that uh, repeatedly until you melt into your chair. <laughs> that is absolutely real. You know, <laughs> like, like, uh, um, oh, you're a lighting artist and you're getting more offers than before. That's great. Oh, okay. Now I understand. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, a like just the climate right now, especially after COVID's kind of clearing everyone in their mom has new jobs. If that's, if that's what we're talking about, cause I'm, I'm getting hit up for a through Z man. They're like hard surface jobs, lighting jobs, this job, it's, it's all across the board, but I mean, that's how I felt in the last year at least. I've been feeling more and more people being like, okay, it's been slow for a while, but now we've got all this stuff coming in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, and, and you know, there are, are times when it expands and shrinks mm -hmm. um, based on project need because, like, in months, time a lot of, of year. Yeah, a lot of companies like they're they're putting a lot of their money into big shows, so that means they can't develop new shows or you know it, it just timing on everything. So sometimes this stuff comes down to like capital investment, right. uh, like money moving around the world uh, and financing these things. So uh, you know there are forces at play that you know uh, a mere artist like us, you know, we're just surfing waves, baby yeah we're just surfing waves and you just gotta know how much to take on and how much to um you know when to take on stuff and when to hold back i was very fortunate that i you know i've i've had work consistently and then um during the pandemic i was working consistently i was also remote before the pandemic um so i it was not really a transition Everyone else was going crazy at home, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm already crazy." Yeah, oh, I'm I'm already here, guys. I'm already here, baby. Let's this go. Is, uh, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, this is wild. Everybody else is crazy now. Uh, I'm into it. I'm into it. Like I don't leave the house. <laughs> what is an outside? An outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's real, guys. It's real. real. We're real people. I'm a We're real people I've... with real feelings. I mean, the feelings are very real. Feelings are very good. Uh, feelings we... are <laughs> very good. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. 10 to 12 uh, full-size honey glazed hams. Dude, don't even get me started on them hammies. <laughs> Hambies. Hammy tamblins. Skeletor. Okay, so I feel pretty good about everything. I'm, I think uh, I'm gonna start lighting. Do it, man! I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready, ready for, for a good like, time. Like I, I do have, um, I do have some Mega Scans assets that I downloaded, just for. Like, Get some shiggles. Uh, you know, for for having a good time. Yeah. But we'll see. I want this transition to just be gross in here. Just gross? 
like yeah rude. yeah like just some just some gross slimy grossness happening over here some pinks and purples and blues and stuff like that so, i like it when uh when the blues get in there oh and dude it's, it's, it's blues time. yeah it's like the it's like the number one number one sexy time you get them yeah. blues in there oh, and it's just yeah. it's scary oh it's really nice yeah i think uh i think he's having a bad time i would say arguably that it is a terrible time he is uh let's go to he's having a bad time yeah it's 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 alpha time let's let's bust out that uh the treasured vein alpha don't know where it is i'll take about 17 years to find it you mean the classic uh vein alpha mm -hmm. look at the speed on this hard drive jared still waiting <laughs> wow still waiting just wait is it, uh is it coin operated Oh, dude, you're Maybe right. Maybe you gotta feed it. Uh, I gotta uh, slam a, I gotta slam a couple of Susan B. Anthony's in there yeah. to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and, a couple uh, of half dollars, you know, just let it, uh, you know, just let it slip slide. Where is that? Ah, I'm Skeletor. Dang, I just realized how to scale this. Really? I mean, dude, the you amount know? of. The amount of times it's been like this, and I'm like, how do I fix it? <laughs> Don't ever judge Click me for drag. not knowing how to do that. Click and drag. Hey, man, where's that vein at? Where's that vein at? There's a vein in here somewhere. You're so vain. You probably think this brush is about you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you mock me. Don't mock me. Mock my tibble sticks. I don't need your mocking. I can do that fine on my own. He's about to mock. He's going mocking, sins, your honor. He's going mock mocking. He's water mocking, sins. This man. What are you doing? You got Oh, well, yeah, you got no. some, I can barely see it. You got, like, some photogram going on or something. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Uh, uh, I've been us, using, uh, show us that. I've been using the bridge, the uh, the Quixel bridge, and then uh, downloading assets, bringing them into uh, ZBrush for this kind of stuff. It's great for, like, little environments. Nice, dude. Yeah, it adds, like, adds that, like, extra level of realism. Yeah, it's sick. You know, and it's free. And free stuff, like we've said before, is dope. It's just crazy that like people have access to all this like dope stuff. And then they won't be my friend. <laughs> and could then be they friend. won't be my friend. And then they won't be my friend. I'm like, guys. <laughs> guys, come on, guys. Come on. Uh, listen here, Your Honor. The man's a full rutabaga. He is a rutabaga. <laughs> Imagine sculpting with sound waves. Yeah, man. Sculpting with sound. Sculpting with sound. Sculpting with sound. It's what's called haunted woods. This next song is called Haunted Words. This next song's about Party Town. Mm, normal. Normal. Tarbin. Er, Everybody's having a normal time. <laughs> normal time. Everyone's having a very normal time. It's such a normal time to be alive. 
we are human having very normal time human human you will have sit down and you will have a normal time <laughs> you will i swear to god I swear to god you, you will, will sit. sit down and you, are you gonna will have a normal time you are going to sit your butt in that chair you are going to have it. a normal time don't make me say it don't make me <laughs> Why can't you just have a normal time? <laughs> Why can't you have a normal? Why aren't you normal? <laughs> it hurts. It hurts his feelings. It hurts that human's feelings. And he's got some nice little mega scans assets, and then the rest we can use like a ground plane for, with like a tileable texture. Get this man a full ham sandwich. He's in need, Your Honor. I might give him a tree. I don't know. A tree? You want to hit him with the tree? Ah, is that too much? No, I mean, it might not. I mean, just pop it in there and see. See, see what the tree. See what it be with the tree. See what the tree. Yeah, so. Uh, Open the bridge. Yeah, yeah, I like that his uh, faces uh, look like they're hurting. <laughs> they don't. I like that. <laughs> got they, him. Got they, him. You really got did. Him. You got me. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I got you real good. I thought you were still over in your your zone. But no. my, my little zone. But here no, we are. no, we're gonna we're gonna look at uh, some trees over here. Do that. Should it be a rotten tree. Dude, rotten trees work for sure. Rotten trees are so cool. Yeah, they're dope. You know they're dope. You know they're pretty dope. Everyone knows they're dope. That's the issue. Is that they're so dope? Burned trees are cool too. Burned trees. Everything is burned like that. Everything is burned. Everything is burned. Yeah, that's too like foresty. It's too like magical forest. And this is like, this is like he's having a bad time. Oh, there we go. That's a dead tree. Now we're gonna. Now we're gonna get a dead tree. Magma. Did you put him in magma? <laughs> I hadn't thought about magma. 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 Uh, is there a good magma shader in here? Let's find out. Magma. That's all like all rocks and stuff man it's all like not magma what's the like, big deal like, like, <laughs> like what's the deal <laughs> like what's going on uh i'm gonna have to write customer service <laughs> like, hey listen guys great products but we where's the magma. magma where's the magma someone hook me up with the magma join us for our memorial day weekend sale magma Buy one, get two free. Magmatic Magmansons. The Disney Magmatic. Disney. The Magmatic. So you can get your auto magma. Auto magma sounds like a whole thing. Does it sound like an entire thing? It sounds like a little bit of a thing. Kind of does, doesn't it? Let's see. Tree stuff. Yeah. Dead tree. My dead tree right there. Oh, got dead tree. So easy. The man's yeah. a dead tree. He doesn't believe in trees that live. He doesn't believe in trees. <laughs> Only the ones that are dead. That guy does not believe in trees. Your Honor, he doesn't believe in trees. It's against his religion. Just remember that uh, when you import these that you got to flip the texture 
Yeah, you still have to do that, don't you? Still have to do that after all this time. Still got to do that, guys. Just make sure that you do that. Has to be done. Uh, you have to do that. I kind of hope it never changes, to be honest. I know. I really... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it just keeps you on your toes. You're like, oh, shit, I'm in this one program where I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> they all have... They all have that one thing, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They all, uh, they all have that one, one thing. And for ZBrush, it's that. Amidst other things. Amidst, uh, it does have other things that it does do. <laughs> um, does a color accurate monitor is that important in CG? Uh, yeah. Uh, it depends on like where you are in the pipeline. <laughs> uh, that is, yeah, that's like the most infuriating part. Not it really, it really that. sucks sometimes because you're you're working. You might be working on a color corrected monitor, but then they send it off to the client who's looking at their iPhone. Yeah, or exactly. Looking at their, you know, looking at it on their Android on a on a on a link that's been sent to them. And their mm -hmm. brightness is down, and they're like, "Why does this look like this?" And, mm -hmm. and so you have no idea what the hell anybody's looking at. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's an entire thing. Everybody's having a bad time. Everybody's having a terrible time. Uh, but it is like it is a very common thing of like, <laughs> what are you? How are you looking at it? Yeah, or you know, like whoever you're sending it to. Their monitor is dark. Their monitor is bright. Their monitor is more saturated. Saturated. All of that stuff. So, I mean, it, it is important, but at the end of the day, it's it's not going to make or break anything. You just gotta, you know, color cal calibrate it yourself. Get some basic levels, and uh, I mean, big deal. <laughs> like for me, yeah. uh, for me, because I'm just in the image business, as in, uh, I'm just here to. Make an image, send that off, that off to the client, and give them lots of options. Uh, I don't worry about it too much. Uh, I, I just have standard settings on both of my monitors and my Cintiq. Uh, sometimes, if I'm not sure what it's going to look like, I will look at it on my phone because most phones. I look at my phone are, on everything. I, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it, most phones are um, color calibrated. Well, I mean, like iPhones across the board, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They they all have the same calibration. So uh, I do that yeah, like, all the time. I'll like upload it to a Dropbox or something like that, and I'll look at it and be like, oh, this is really dark, or oh, yeah. this needs more contra, you know? Yeah, totally. That's real. You're real. Uh, you're real. We're real great. people. We are real people. You are real, and that is real. You are real, and I'm real, and together. We'll catch a fish. We'll catch a fish, Your Honor. Uh, I'm a doctor, and uh, that's a fish. That's <laughs> not a man. That is not a man, Your Honor. Full-blown doctor right there. <laughs> uh, personally, I don't know why I'm here. Uh, I was told <laughs> I was to be looking at a man. That is a fish. I am not a fish doctor. I am a human doctor. I'm a... Uh, very disappointed in all of you. <laughs> so you can see uh, the mega scans look great in Keyshot, and this is without even like the adding any of the materials or anything. It's just it's just awesome. So it adds a little bit of that extra like, ooh, yeah, he's standing on bricks. He's on bricks. bricks. You know, maybe it's like the ruins of his uh, of his dad's house. Of his dad's house, he wrecked the car. <laughs> Maybe he's on vacation it. in Brazil. I don't know if you know this, Matt. Oh, you can go to uh, edit, add geometry, and then add a ground plane. Yeah, and it goes like way far back. Yeah, Very it's, the, it's the infinite. It's the, the infinite, infinite ground. Yeah, it's the infinite ground plane. The infinite plane. Of existence. The finite plane of existence is upon us, my lord. My lord, he's a goober. 
So that way you don't feel like you have to use uh, the ground shadows or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I mean, it already looks like a product, right? Yeah. It already looks like a sculpture. Yeah, like if I if I were going to go to closer to the sculpture setting, like then the pose would be more dynamic. Probably would put the foot up on a you know on a rock here or something. I'm not going to do that because I'm too lazy. <coughs> Want to go full out like product you know sideshow collectible style? Then I would definitely spend a lot more time getting the pose looking really dynamic. Um, I'm doing this. I'm just. I'm keeping the post simple on this because uh, I just want to get through it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> man. I want to finish. Um, and it's a beginning as a beginner for lighting. They teach how to light a sphere and build a good silhouette out of it. For sculpting, what would be a simple task to begin? Well, if you want to learn sculpting, uh, I recommend starting with the skull. Uh, <coughs> start with the regular human skull if you can recreate that in uh digital then do another one and another one and do different kinds of skulls uh do a chimp skull do a, a dog skull things like that um it uh like that's that's like doing your vegetables you know you, you, starting with the skull learn the structure of the head uh beginning that way it's like doing your vegetables it's like doing your vegetables it's, guys. it's like grabbing uh, a bunch of vegetables and stuffing them in your pocket. <laughs> and stuffing them in your pocket. Uh, not, this, this is awesome. Uh, not Jeff Uh Who would win in a fight? The producers of Coco Melon versus the producers of Avatar The Last <laughs> Airbender Legitimate. <laughs> okay. Matt, do you do you even know what Coco Melon is? Mm -mm. Okay. Is great. that a is that some sort of manga or anime? Uh, Coco Melon is like for toddlers. Oh, love that! It, it is. Uh, it's nursery rhymes for toddlers, and uh, the CG is just horrendous. Oh, I know exactly what yeah, that is. It's really I know bad. exactly what that is. Let me and not just that. Right not. Just, I mean, not just yeah. that. But there's like a a hundred thousand imitators of this very same thing they're all singing the same nursery rhymes uh and um your kid will listen to them all day just over and over and over all again on repeat they yeah we got it. to know we got to know coco melon really well but uh what's funny is like you we were watching it long enough that we got to see the transition where they started getting some budget. You can see they were getting, yeah. Money. And then once it was on Netflix, then you could really see the money coming in and you're like, ah, oh, they're spending a little more on animation, a little mm -hmm. bit more on the model. Uh, you know, so, so they were making money, which is cool. We like cool stuff here. We like cool Before. stuff and we don't like bad stuff. Uh, but, but to answer the question, um, I bet the Coco Melon people are insane. They just got to be nuts by now because, like, can you imagine? You know, yeah, when you animate, you're gonna listen to the same clip four hundred thousand times. Oh my god! When animating anything, it's so uh, so I can imagine the uh, Coco Melon people are probably like scrappers. They're like the, they'll like bite a bullet. Uh, that said, the uh, the Avatar Last Airbender people they do train in karate, so they probably have some cool skills. This is a great question. Castle Four. Some kid shows are more creepy than a lot of dark. Yeah. Uh, just looking at the CG people in, in Coco Melon. Oh, I'll, I'll pull this up for you, Matt, so you can see what they look like. Dude, I yeah, I uh, I looked it up right after I remembered what you guys okay, were, yeah. realized what you guys were talking about. Just yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Some who? Oh boy. He the 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 dad in particular <laughs> is horrifying. Let's see. All the, you know, but all the dub is off. Uh, yeah. The songs are also just slightly weird. Too. They're just slightly off the normal nursery rhymes. <laughs> like, 
you're you're it's like taking an acid trip. It's uh, toddler music. What's up, everybody? Toddler music. What's up, guys? Toddler music. Ready to party. (laughs) Ready to party. Ready to party. My dude, I am ready to party. Ready to get some snacks. I am ready for snacks. This guy's ready to snack. Castle Stone 4. I think I already downloaded that. This dude snacks. This guy snacks. This dude's way into snacking. This guy's so into snacking. Dude loves to snack. <laughs> Let me tell you. I got a friend. This guy loves to snack. Dude, sn- snack. Dude snacks. This guy snacks. Oh, he's, he's got a, a snack. He's a full-blown snacker. Uh, he does his snacking dance. <laughs> When he's got a snack, uh, when he's got a, a really good snack that he likes, dude loves that snack. Guy, my man, loves to snack. Oh, that's very large. It's a very large floor. That is a very large floor, Your Honor. Sir, that floor is too large. Too large to live. I demand recompense. For the large floor. I demand recognition. <laughs> for the large floor. <laughs> he has insulted me for the last time and his large floor. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Creature Corner, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. My, uh, I was complimenting my t-shirt. Well, I'll show you. It's Friends, but it's Pennywise and uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Yeah, I got I got really worried whenever I hopped in the lobby with you. I was like, "Is this dude just straight up wearing a Friends TV shirt?" But I, I saw <laughs> I saw what was I saw what was going and, on. Uh, okay, so you were about to like defriend me. I was about to be like, so Ross or Chandler, who's like alpha, bro? Uh, who's like the most alpha? <laughs> Don't tell me that's an actual debate people have. I have literally no idea. I don't even know who humans are. <laughs> what what are we? What are we even doing? I don't even know what humans are. <laughs> I don't even know what humans are. Someone needs to explain that to Someone me. Someone needs to stop. Stop what they're doing and explain to me what people are. <laughs> Because let me tell you, y'all scare me. Y'all be wild enough. Do you ever, Matt, do you ever feel like you're an alien on this planet and you're just like observing the weirdos? Uh, no. No, it doesn't feel that. Okay, cool. Cool. Later. Never felt that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. It's, I mean, if, if you're any sort of weird creative, it's always like, is any of this real? Is any of this real? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what? What is even the matter? We're about to tilly on the taps. We're going to Tappinson's disease, Your Honor. This guy is about to tap. He's on his way to tapping. So I'm putting some displacement. Boom. That's too much. That's too much displacement, Matt. Turbulent displacement. Why did you tell me to put it up that high? Oh, I just enjoy screwing your stuff up, man. Ow! Damn it. Oh, you got metal. You got, like, old materials. Yeah, um, you know, just trying to see what's going on. We're just trying to make something. Yeah, I like, uh, you know, I kind of like where I blocked in the paint on here, kind of bruised up in the middle. But there's just so much. I mean, I need need to, honestly, I need to pose this guy. Get this big-ass sword kind of posed up. I mean, I I don't think you have to do much. I would would just swing one arm out or the other. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, just like... I would would swing one... I'm... 
I've already they, sculpted they already... him kind of in pose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because like, his, his arm is small. He's got a small arm and a big arm. Are you going to give him like two weapons or like a weapon and like uh, maybe some kind of uh, a he? I think the the original little sketch I did, he had kind of that was like his necromancy hand. He had like some sort of magic coming out of it. He had a magic hand. Yeah, he's got a magic hand, and then like a, I'm gonna kill you hand kind of thing. I'm gonna make you have a bad time hand. I'm gonna make you go away into a very awful place hand. You make, you understand? I know what you mean. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Okay, that's good. That's cool. I'm into it. We're we're a hundred percent clear. Yeah. As long as we don't understand each other, I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our conversations are just mis misunderstandings. What? But we're having a good time. Uh, love having a good time. I like having good times and not uh, bad times. Bad times are bad. So I said, I, th I, I think we've established that. And I hate it. I don't like this floor. That's okay. I don't like that's it. a that's like eighty percent of our job is being like I did all this work, but it kind of looks like shit. <laughs> really? yeah. I guess I'll uh, <laughs> I guess I'll redo it right quick. This uh really really hate it. Yeah, this looks really bad. <laughs> this, why you? Yeah, like, like geez, why like is everything broken. The the joke that I kept saying whenever I was at Noman, I'd be like, yeah, and then I, whenever we'd be in like the the figure drawing class. After the end of the class, I'd look at my sketchbook and I'd be like, I'm "Like, who came over here and drew this? This is garbage. <laughs> like, this is just... I, I did a really bad job. <laughs> this is just incredibly disappointing. This is just awful. I can't believe I'm really, uh, really out of my league here. Okay, let's check it out. That's mossy cobblestone, but that's a path. Everyone's having a good time. There we go. It's distracting me. I'm going to start lighting. You're distracting me. You're distracting me. And now it's time to pay the price. And now it's time to die, Your Honor. No one ever says that anymore. Like, it's time to pay the price. I listen to death metal music, so I hear that kind of stuff. Oh, they do say that, uh, yeah. you will pay the price. Yeah, you know, yeah. stuff like that. That's what yeah, they say. Yeah, okay. All that's, right. that's what they say, Jared. But I mean, that's like, I, I, you never hear that, like, on a, like a home cooking show. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, that was good. I'm into it. I am right. into it. If you don't beat the eggs properly, you will pay a terrible price. Time to pay the price. You will pay the toll. Oh, the bell tolls. Gonna pay a price. It's a pretty, pretty price. Okay, where's the tunnel? Do you use the short tunnel? The short tunnel or the long tunnel? The short tunnel HDR. I've been using this one a lot just because you get like a free double rim light. A free double rim light? It's a free double rim light. Uh, where is short tunnel? Uh, is that one of the standard stuff? No, no, no. It's not standard. It's from, um, you know. HDRI Haven? Yeah. Yes. Am I right? Did I guess Yes. It? Yes, that is. Oh. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that's it. Wow, did I do it? Well, I use Factory 4K, which was He's, uh, dude's into Factory 4K. He loves that one. It. That one's been with Keyshot since the beginning. The beginning of Keyshot. The beginning of time. From the beginning, there was a man made of pudding. <laughs> it 
It's lighting time. And if you don't know how to light, the key is, is to take a light and then aim it somewhere. <laughs> you just kind of pop it in and see what works. You start moving it around and it changes how things look. You might even have a good time. Yeah, this thing is so heavy, I can't do uh, the GPU lighting, and it's like giving me PTSD from the olden days. Oh, you're, are you starting to get uh, a thing happening? No, I'm just in CPU mode, so it's in slow zone. Oh, you're slow zone. You are not Sonic the Hedgehog tonight. But that looks great, dude. Looks awesome. Yeah, hey, look, I think he's having a bad time. He is, in fact, having a very terrible time. Oh, you got a to... God, that's the thing about these projects, man. There's just always so much stuff to do. Oh. When, it, when it's uh, not for a client. Oh yeah, if it's personal, I mean, you could just do whatever the. I mean, it'll it'll, ended, it'll but... take you it'll take you ages and ages to finish something. But for a client, you you'll do something. Uh, <laughs> you'll do something, and then boom, you're like, man, I can't believe that. Like, I can make decisions that fast for a client, but then when it's my own work, suddenly I'm in the slow zone. Mm -hmm. Like. I am not in the danger zone. I'm in the slow zone. I like it. What is Blue doing? You having a good time? What's going on? You having a good time? I am having a good time. I think, uh, you know, what I want to do here, let's pop. My computer, he's... Your computer's he's, having a bad time. Well, I mean, he's feeling pretty good. I just swapped it over to GPU, and he said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's have a good time. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Yeah, I pretty much just always go with my standard key light, rim light, and then like a little kicker. But I like to spend time lighting everything first before getting any materials on it. Lighting's where that magic happens, baby. It's where the Tommy tips and the Tammy taps. Good old Tammy two toes. She only got two toes, and we're not going to tell you which ones. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and save this camera. And just like what Jared was saying earlier, I'm just going to... You know, you just kind of throw a light in there. You just, just throw, throw it. In. Yeah, just like be a really aggressive about it. You're looking to throw. Oh, oh. His oh. name is Skelly Belly. It's Skelly Bellington. It's Skelly Bellington. There we go. I put some goop in his eyes. Okay. It's not like um, actual holes, but it's kind of goopy, like black tar or something. Some sort of tarry goopness. Some uh, tarry goop, a tarry goopness. Atari twenty six hundred. Blood red Skeletor? That would be kind of rad. Look at that stuff. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. I really want him to look kind of undead and desiccated. He is, after all, a, uh, a wizard. He's a Timmy Tappinson's. He's a doctor, a lawyer, and a plumber. 
The man can plumb. He works the pipes. Plumbing the depth of the human heart. It's Skeletor. It's Skeletor coming at you every weeknight. Coming at you live. Coming at you live. It's Skeletor. Skeletor and his amazing friends. Hey, we're both in Keyshot. We're just having some good times. Yeah, I'm really just, I mean, just kind of want to see what's going on here. Spooky. I'm gonna kick this off just to see it. You gonna kick? I'm just gonna kick it off to see it, and uh, I am gonna cancel that right quick. This happens to me every time I render. I hit render, then I'm like, wait, I need to check all of my options. I have to do. A, I have to do 400 more things. Kick this off. I'm gonna bounce out for about four minutes, and I will be back in a second. He's gonna bounce. Well, hi, it's me, Jared. Have I, you ever had dreams, weird dreams, after spending hours sculpting scary creatures? Uh, no, actually, I don't really have... Like, after a day of doing stuff, I don't really get dreams. Um, my my dreams are kind of like, when I, when I do have them, they're not creature-related, they're, uh, like, really abstract. Like, uh, I go to a house and it looks like MC Escher. And then, um, and there's like a, a pool that's upside down and there's a hippo in the pool. Like, that's what my dreams are like. Uh, very, very abstract and weird. So I kind of do most of my nightmare dreaming during the day at work. And we have a good time. We're having a good good time if you have any questions for me now's a good time happy to answer anything related to the industry or Skeletor if you have any questions for Skeletor right now uh, right now we're in the fun stage of just like, like picking materials It's like, do I want? I want the skull to have uh, any translucency to it. Skulls don't really have translucency. One thing I will do to kind of uh, get a little bit more texture into the face is. Um, I'll take the material that I've made and I'll go into the material graph. And this is our poly paint. So this is our vertex paint from ZBrush. So I pop this into a curvature. So I'll pop that both into the negative, positive, uh, sorry, the positive and zero curvature. That gets plugged into the diffuse. All right, so I'm using this curvature now and uh, you can see it kind of activated so right now anything that is uh, in negative curvature is, is popping to uh, this red color so there's a couple things you can do here to make that look really really gnarly uh, and it all kind of depends on the look that you want to go for so what I'll do is I'll take a uh, color adjustment and I'll pop the vertex color back in the color adjustment back into the negative right you're not going to see anything change because now it's just all piped into the same place 
But now we have this color adjustment in the negative. So then I can actually add contrast value. And you'll start to see um, some more stuff coming through. Some of those textural details starting to come through. And then if you want to tint it, colorize it a little bit, then you can do that here as well. So I'm just trying to get some extra stuff, textural stuff for free. The Skeletor is going to be a little bit more like dark and kind of spooky. Dark. He's going to be dark and spooky. Let's see. I might just copy this material. Paste material. Oh, Matt's back. He's back. He's back. Did you do a rendy? I did a little rendy. Do a little rendy time. Let's check it out. Okay. How many monitors do you have, Jared? I just have the two. How many you got? Three, four, ten? I've got ten. Um, <laughs> now I've got a I've got the Cintiq, and then I've got uh, three other monitors. I've just collected like I've got one monitor that I have like a kind of portrait off to the left, where I just keep like random stuff over there, and then I've got my main two plus the Cintiq. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice setup. Uh, did I work on the live action Masters of the Universe coming up? No, I didn't. Uh, my wife did, actually. She oh, did. really? Yeah, she did some production coordinating for them. That's awesome, dude. Um, they had they had some other artists going on that for a long time. Uh, it, it changed hands a lot of times. Um, so I know some other artists who did work on it. Um, and I, I don't even think they know if they if what they did made it or not. Um, I hope it's rad though. I'm always, I'm always hoping it's going to be good. Um, I don't think, I don't think you want to go in and be like, ah, oh, I hope it sucks and everyone feels bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, those are facts. <laughs> sometimes, I mean, sometimes people want it to, everyone to have a bad time. But, um, but yeah, my wife got to work on it, though. My wife does actual work. Like, she has a real job. My job is to plug uh, nodes together. Uh, what monitors are we using? I have, um, like, two $200 things. Let me see. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're not crazy. Just some LG... Some I've got two of I bought so I ran into there was a question earlier about color management. And this is one thing you'll find even with like high end monitors. If you buy two of the same one, the color is gonna be different, man. It's like it's yeah, it's, ne no, it's never the same. No, yeah, there's no <laughs> it's never the same, dude. Anywhere. Um I have a I have an Asus monitor. <laughs> and there you I, go. You know, ah, like, yeah, you know, whatever, who cares? I have an Asus monitor and, a, you know, my Cintiq, and that's yeah. pretty much the two. Uh, my machine, as powerful as it is, um, I have not connected another monitor to it. I'd like to get a vertical one or one that like flips to the side. Yeah, I, I have a, a that's, what, that's what I really need. Yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome, it's awesome for. A lot of stuff, especially whenever I'm doing production, and I've got like a whole screen of reference, and then you got like your whole screen of Maya, and then on your Cintiq maybe ZBrush, and then you've got your vertical thing rendering your production shots or like rendering your key shot or whatever it is. Um, that stuff is always, I, mean, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of it's fun, you know. It's nice you, to have, you know, 
you don't need a lot of monitors too will do just fine but uh if you want to go like that crazy and have like a bunch it's awesome uh yeah, I, it's I've had that set. I've had that kind of setup where I had like four different monitors and it was awesome. It is fun, you know. And it we like a, fun. And fun is good. Uh, we do not like not fun. Yeah, I think that I'm in like, <clears throat> I think like one more session I could probably finish the sculpting on this guy that now that I have all the the kind of forms landed that I like. I can go in there and get some details. So I'll start adding some secondary language into here tertiary stuff and it's a it's a long project you know i mean sometimes you you've some, been on this one for a while yeah i mean you know you hop it you hop back in between like a lot of different things but I, I treated this a lot like my scorpion project right like i wanted to make some cool armor i wanted to make a cool sword i wanted to make a bunch of cool different things um that i don't really have a lot of practice doing and whenever i did scorpion i was like okay so if i need to learn all these new tools i'm going to pick some sort of project that i'm at least like way into right i uh, yeah i agree because like then you there's incentive to actually finish it yeah and you know it's you know you get excited about it it's fun and the details, man, they're just, that's just the funnest part. Everybody wants to get there as fast as they can, you know? Yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I mean, we all want to get to that point where, like, probably where we are now. This is exactly, I mean, I'm just now sculpting folds on the eyelids. So, yeah, like, definitely there for me. I'm like, okay, now I get to kind of go to Noodle Town. <clears throat> yeah, like, when you start seeing the lighting come together and some of the material starting to tweak and... You're like, I can see. So he's just got a black face. Yeah, he's got like a black tar. I figured it would be black tar in his eyes. Mm -hmm. you know, and I even have, um, where are they? I have little, I have little eyeballs in here so I can make oh. them all glowy. Yeah, you got some, got like some, like got some, peep ah. you got some peepers in there. Look at that heat out. Uh, what's going to take, okay, so we've got a question. Of, uh, yeah, th this is a loaded question for sure. What's it going to take for someone to be an art director? Um, <clears throat> like, but he's also saying if there's two good artists, same department, same level. So ultimately, uh, the, mean, one thing, the one thing I would say is that they're not the same level, right? Yeah. If one of them is going to be an art director because maybe they can execute the same level of thing but maybe someone else has a broader vision and can critique artwork or see little pieces of oh this maybe you can flip it this way or add some foreground elements or you know you're thinking of the whole shot as an entirety and you're able to communicate that is the big deal is being able to communicate to people like that is your number yeah your your number one job as an art director is communication uh, making sure that uh, everybody's on the same page, uh, that the artist has all the tools that they need, um, and they have all the information in front of them. So uh, the question is like, one is like, who wants the job? One, you know. Yeah, and yeah. Then, what do, does what, do both of them want the job? Are they both vying for it? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. for me. And I'm asking like, okay, well, you know, we're looking at two different candidates here. Uh, and let's say this is a supervisor position. Artist A, uh, artist a has more experience in the industry, uh, but let's say is not good at communication. Yeah. Um, or they are maybe, uh, they have a hard time uh, working with other artists. Mm -hmm. uh, just artists are a little different. Uh, we, you know, we think different and all that stuff. Um, so it, it kind of, to me, depends on um, personality type. So a good artist may not necessarily also be a good leader. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so you're, we're looking for leadership skills. So leadership, leadership skills mean, can you motivate a team? Can you excite the team um, when the chips are down? 
uh, and maybe morale is low, can you pick everybody back up? Yeah. And can you, you know, can you lead by example, but also just being able to comfort someone, talk to someone in their own language. Yeah. Effectively is like the biggest deal. And it then the biggest deal. also another skill is uh, knowing when to F off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, yeah. uh, you want an art director who also trusts you. Uh, or a supervisor who trusts their people because if you if uh if you don't trust them then you're just going to have a problem mm -hmm. from the get-go um so if if you don't trust your people then uh do not take that job um because then uh, you're you're inviting a lot of other issues possible potential issues uh going on there but like learn learn how to try you know learning trusting uh, trusting your artists and, and letting them do what they do. Uh, and then just being there for them when they need, when they do need you. So it's, uh, leadership skills are, are different than are the art skills. Yeah. And so, um, if you have someone who has both the art skills and the leadership skills, that's the ideal candidate. Right. Um, and how do you know someone has the right leadership skills? Uh, chances are that they've been demonstrating it. Um, they're um, working yeah, with I mean, other artists. 100, yeah, one hundred percent. They're helping you know? people out. They're getting creative answers. They're you know they're they're offering. Looking, they're looking up stuff. They're researching, and yeah. they're also they also have like a. I mean, having a really good eye is obviously super yeah, that's important. A big but, you know, Jared and I talk about this a lot, like, especially whenever, you know, we had a hand in hiring people, it was like, well, this person might be a good artist, but man, you know, most people can't stand to work with them. And yeah, so it, what it, are you uh, going to do? You don't want to give that person, a, <laughs> you know, you don't want to give them some sort of situation to where nobody can really hang out with this person on a professional or even social level, right? You got to yeah. be able to just be a, be a cool person and be a cool person and yeah. uh, take direction well, and then know when to, uh, you know, offer information and, and share um, some management and psychology skills would complement. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, if you're art directing that you're, you're pretty much going to be people managing. Mm -hmm. uh, and not just that, like not just people management, but like, um, you know, art direction as well is a skill. Like you're saying, uh, maybe the composition, you're, you're going to have an eye for composition. So you're going to talk with your artist about compositions or mm -hmm. storytelling devices, things that maybe the client wants to see, or, you know, um, a lot of times you're going to all be in a meeting together. Uh, so people are going to catch different things in the meeting. Uh, meetings are often mercurial so you're going to sit in a meeting and someone's going to say something and then four different people will have a different interpretation of right. what that thing means and so also you know your art director is also a good listener and uh is able to just uh you know run run through things you know yeah and you know i don't want to sound like a just repeating myself but most importantly, and I've spoke on this several times, <clears throat> being a generalist, if you ever want to yeah. be an art director, being yep. a generalist is the way to go. Man. Like, I mean, you, you want to understand, even on a foundational level, what dynamics artists are doing, what rigging artists are doing, what animation is doing. You want to know how to do basic levels of stuff, and you want to spend many hours in all of these different practices just so that whenever you are in a situation and you're overseeing like 20 artists or 15 artists, you can troubleshoot and you can talk with them on like a base level. And it's not like, well, it doesn't look rock and roll enough or it doesn't look good. And why is it gray? You know, you want to be able to like, Hey, maybe the scale. Of what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like yeah. We can get a note it. like that, like uh, make it more, uh, uh, more metal than you're like, yeah. okay, what does that mean? How do we, um, yeah. uh, you know, when we were working a lot of, on a lot of, um, Chinese shows, Chinese films, 
Oh man. You know, yeah. it's like uh this creature doesn't have the spirit of the wind. And you're yeah. like, okay. And then you're looking at each other like, okay, what does that mean? Yeah, what does it mean? No. What does the spirit of the wind mean? I like, remember I remember one more... time. <laughs> I remember one time we got a picture of a crystal. Yeah. That was it. It was just like like this. And you're, you're like, client. Oh. Yeah, they're yeah, like, like, uh, you're like I'm designing a tiger. Right? And <laughs> it's this crystal. And now yeah. we're like, that's And that's note. it. That's it. That's also your job, though, is to kind of, as an art director and as leading a team and as a supervisor, which we both have, you know, experience in, mm -hmm. is like, you've got to look at that and you have to be able to decipher it, you know? Um, and that, dude, that's like real shit. And sometimes you'll get directors and be like, oh, it's uh, too Madonna or too, <laughs> too, too clean. And you're like, well, what, what does this, you know, what does this stuff mean, right? Because any other artist looking at the note is like, oh, it's too clean. I'm going to add dirt. But as a director and an art director, you want to look at the overall everything, right? Like the shape language. Like, okay, is it too jaggedy? Is it too, are there not enough smooth yeah. lines? Is, does it not have some sort of like a <clears throat> form to it, like a car, like a race car or something, you know, like the draft to the model, like. How is that? You want to look at all of those situations to try and figure out, uh, you know, what is this person trying to say to what us that this, isn't that what isn't do an you artist? Want? Yeah, because what do you want from us? They're not artists, and they are paying us to make their artwork, and we have to also figure out what they're trying to find, right? Really? What? Tell us. What do you want? But I, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, so that's, that's what I would say is look for good people. Um, yeah. So, and, and, and that's what I would be looking for in a supervisor slash, uh, you know, any kind of position like that, where you're, you're moving up from artist to management, because that's what art directing or supervising is. It's management. Uh, sometimes it's schedule management. You're managing artists and people and um expectations all around it's a lot of work uh jared we got a question about some marmoset i know you have some recent um haven't you been in that recently uh, yeah i mean i've i've used uh i like marmoset a lot um i mean i, I haven't used I, I haven't, since school, so. i haven't used high poly like i've, I've decimated with uvs okay um, but you're gonna you're gonna texture everything in substance before marmoset. And, I mean, it's it's not really uh, marmoset is just a, it's a plug and play render. You just uh, plug stuff in and it looks cool. It, you know, it's not much different than Keyshot, really. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it has a few more bells and whistles as far as like the camera and the the real time kind of lens flare. You know the. The, that actual photographic stuff that Keyshot doesn't have. So there's some cool, there is some cool stuff in there. Um, but, uh, I mean, ultimately, yeah, I, like, I, I, a I renderer like, is it's, a renderer, it's, right? Yeah, it's a renderer. And, and am I going to use that um, over Keyshot in my day to day job? Probably not. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you have the texture and long. UV stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you know, for my process, I'm I'm painting over 3D, so right, I don't right. need to, I don't need textures and UVs. Yeah, I mean now, now what I do in my uh, <clears throat> concept workflow is, like, if a client comes up to me, they're like, "Hey, I want a robot, man." I just go to Mid Journey and I'm like, backslash robot, backslash, then I go organic <laughs> robot eager. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I. I I throw in tomato juice just to kind of uh, oh, hit it with like a tomato juice or like a wet sock. I'll hit it with a wet sock. See, Ooh. see if anything comes up. Uh, photo real bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, like key shot, man. I mean, you know, it's 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 second to none for speed for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, can't, it's literally. I mean. You can get higher quality renders just, and higher quality everything out of any other package with this dude. You just like pop it in, pop the materials, and you're in Photoshop in 30 minutes. You know what I mean? It's 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 wild. So for concept workflow, it's perfect. 
<laughs> for 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 us, yeah, like this is as fast as you're gonna get. When you start needing animation, rigging, mm -hmm. skeletons, all that stuff, that's that's a different department. So yeah, I, I consider myself primarily a concept modeler. For sure. Uh, you know, well, I'm concept artist. Concept I'm, artist, I'm, yeah. Concept artist, but uh, oh, like this is concept oh, modeling, you know. It just has to look pretty enough to get a yes. Yeah. Pretty enough to get 30 revisions. When you're deep in revision town, you're having a good time. That's that's whenever the the honeymoon phase wears off. You yeah, do that yeah, one yeah. you do that one good design and you're on cloud nine and then like two months later you're like, Jesus, bro. <laughs> like how long do the fingernails have to be? <laughs> like, get, like like give me you centimeters me. at this point. Like what's like what's going on? You know, like it's a uh, it's funny. It's odd it's odd what uh, what decisions you make people get hung up on right yeah yeah it's, which yeah. is also a huge tactic and sometimes the reverse psychology is insane though you'd be like throw them some like i'll throw them something with just some insanely bright teeth just mm -hmm. so they're not like seeing some other shit going on i'm like yeah look at this version what do you think <laughs> uh, yeah and, and sometimes uh that is my like left field version Mm -hmm. And I'm, uh, I'll throw them a version that's like just wild, just completely. Yeah. Uh, like there's there's no way that I would pick this, uh, right? And, but ends up somehow getting picked. Somehow getting picked. Somehow yeah. it gets picked, and it's always like, wow, they really went for it. And then I'm like, man, do, do I need to like, go like weirder? Yeah, like what's the <laughs> what's the deal? Finally getting into, finally getting into Zombie Town on this guy. Doing all the all the fun little whippy whips of the of the pen. You know, whenever you just get on there scanning, and you're just going, just making a bunch of little whippy whips. I'm I'm having fun uh, turning lights on and off. Yeah, and if there's if if there's one practice in CG where you can really get lost, it is lighting too. Lighting, like, lighting is so much fun to just be like, on off on off version yeah. version, like uh, uh, the screen with the glowy eyes. That's a version. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's pretty sick. As a version. Look at that. That is nasty. Yeah, that's uh, man. I mean, he wants it. Yeah. He wants he wants to be in your death metal he band. He wants the power for himself. <laughs> Cause he, cause he man has the power. That's the issue is that that's he doesn't the, have it. That's like, that's kind of really the whole crux of everything. And he knows and who has the power. He, he man knows. has the power and, uh, and Skeletor does not. It's true. Frankly, I'm a little disappointed. I think everyone's a little upset about it. It's a little bit disappointed. Oh, that's a nice uh, stone thing. I should have kept. I should have put that in there. I should have flarbled my gardens when I had a <laughs> chance. Don't do that in public. Uh, Puritan, you and your yeah, old you. ways. <laughs> you sick bastard. You know that we all flarble our gardens. That man's about to flarble a garden. Dum, 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 dum. This is the only, uh, this is the big kind of downside that I've seen from taking Mega Scans assets to, to Keyshot is that um, once you're kind of beholden to ZBrush sending stuff over, uh, you're kind of stuck with it. So, like, your UVs won't work, even if you flip vertical. Like, the scaling might be off as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's this is kind of the big problem that I've seen so far because I'm like I'm have, trying to, dude, he's trying to scared. plug stuff in and it won't. What? what he's got sc he's got scary toes. I never noticed the scary. Oh toes. yeah, he's got scary toes. Yeah. Wow. He's got, full, he's got full claw scary toes. That is great. That's in um, I think that's in the the cartoon too. No way. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold I on. love that. Uh, you know, I because like I when I'm doing stuff, I'm always looking for little details to put in. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, the old, the old toy. Dude had dude had full blown scary toes in the old toy. Uh, check it out. Okay, so like um, let's see it. Let's see. It. Uh, look, he's got. He's got little scary toes. He does have some toes in there. He's got some little scary toes. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. he's got like some bone kind mm -hmm. of stuff going on right here. So I'm that's into it. The, the, the thing that I didn't put in was the little bat symbol up here. But. Yeah, what's up with that? You didn't feel uh, Well, I figured um, I, I was going to use these kind of like Beksinski bones to kind oh, of yeah. do the same yeah. thing. Got it. I was so, gonna I mean, buy you did stuff. you did your version. I did my version. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nice art. Thank you very much. We like uh, making art. We like and making weird art. things and having a good time. Art related things, having a good time. I'm studying at the moment, trying to render pass in Photoshop, render in Marmoset, Arnold Cycles, and now I'll give Keyshot a chance. Uh, That's like, a lot. That's a lot to learn all at once. Uh, my advice is like find one thing and just get really good at it. You just learn the process. Learn, really. learn, learn that, and then yeah. uh, you will get good at everything else because all, all the rest of it, they all kind of speak the same language. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's all the same ideology. Yeah, so it's, you know, uh, you can learn all that stuff, but also just like hang out in one tool for a little bit and just get comfy. Yeah, because there's not going to be a tool that's going to solve your problem, right? Yeah. Like, there's there's no magic anything. Like, and they're all see, weird, and they're all like yeah. oddly specific to their own thing. Yeah, you see all this amazing artwork, and it has, you know, hardly anything to do with uh, whether it's in Arnold, Keyshot, ZBrush, Maya, blah, 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 blah. I yeah. mean, there's obviously something to be said about that, but... That's true. I mean, once you learn like the ins and outs of one tool, it's just going to scale across uh, every other tool that you learn. It's all the same thing. I mean, like Blender is great because it's free, and uh, EV is great because it's really cool, uh, and uh, EV is really cool, and then so is um, Cycles. They're all they're all doing the same stuff, which is you're, they're taking your model and they're adding light sources and materials yep. um, no no renderer is going to make your model better that is that's all yeah. that's all in the work baby so uh, you know that's all in the texturing that's in the modeling that's in the character and presentation a yeah. renderer is just there to add lights and uh you know make it look pretty and yeah you know to Quote the famous Miguel Ortega, it has to be in the model. It has to be in the model. Got to be in the model. And Jared knows how to put it in the model. I like to put it in the model. I've seen I, every, it happen. Everything digs. You gotta, I dig really deep into the skull. I have seen it happen. I guys. love to dig deep into the skull. Seen it. That's also something that I, uh, I find a lot of students have trouble with as well. That was one of the first things I remember you saying about yeah. the class I was in. You're like, you guys don't be afraid, man. Just get in there and just dig in, man. Really you hard. Know? And just then I had a student ask, like, well, um, you know, then we hear about subtlety. Like, well, you got to make it subtle. Well, that's that's in the presentation. You know, like how the subtlety of the forms or the character. Yeah, I mean, you know, that that's, that's on different levels, right? I mean. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shit. I mean, I'll, I'll, ju I'll just say like, you know, 3D is one thing, but you can tell if you're not being aggressive enough in your sculptures once you start mm -hmm. 3D, once you start 3D printing your stuff, you're like, oh, wow. Like, I can't even see any of that detail or I, or, oh, wow, that's too much. You know, I need to dial it back. You know, it's like, it's, you know, 3D is just this kind of weird it's, 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 a, it's it's weird. It's, it's just not weird. real, right? It's not real until you see it real, and then have you're like, you oh, uh, man. have you played with the contrast slider? Yeah, yeah, I've been using that recently. It's like uh, the, it's it's like I the 
it's like the negative intensity hack from the yeah Lakers. yeah 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 that's from back in the day uh, yeah. i love i love that and i love the contrast delta brush too because that also will pop uh, yeah that, yeah that's really cool um that so those are some nice features that they added to push help you push detail but uh ultimately it all comes down to the sculpt and digging into that clay you know and i tell that again i tell that to students i'm like it's clay it's digital clay you get it push into it you get it to read you want to have a good time and not a bad time you don't want to have a bad time and those are the facts look if you're gonna have a bad time now's not the time <laughs> All right, brother. It's getting late for me. Oh, you're uh, you're ready to hambo. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost twelve fifteen here. I'll do a little. Yeah, I'm just gonna check skin skis. Beck, he likes it. He likes it. <laughs> check skin skis. Check skin skis. He likes it. Yeah, that's looking cool, man. It's getting there. It's getting really close. Like once I get all the uh, rest of the materials on there. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see some wood on that staff. Yeah, I want to get some wood on that, and then uh, once I get, you know what? I'm just gonna pop some wood on it real quick, and then uh, I might even put some fog into this scene. Cool. Oh, maybe you know what would be good is your cloud sculpting trick. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be really good uh, here to have him like a bed of fog around him. Raphael, two a.m. Thanks for hanging, bro. Yeah, man, dude, you're uh, you're up late partying with us. You're doing it, man. You're doing it, Peter. You're playing with us. <laughs> you're doing it, Peter. Peeber. Peeber. Prince Justin Bieber. Marmel, Marnie, Marmingtons. Yeah. So once I get like some um, curvature in the staff too, that'll help pop the. Uh, yeah, the for in. sure. You know for what sure. I mean? Yeah. Like if I pop them a little darker, maybe a little lighter, but like. And it's getting so close, man. Like, I can taste it. He likes to taste it. I like to taste my models. My Your 3D Honor. models. Your Honor. Listen, Your Honor. I was a doctor before I was a lawyer. Trying to put some wood on my staff. That's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good song. I was just thinking, my God. <laughs> that is a good song i like uh i like the song because it's terrible okay choo, 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 choo. Okay. All right. So I've got like the basics down on it, at least. There we have it. There we're we a, have it, everybody. For a scary man. 
All right, let's uh, let's check in, Matt. Why don't you uh, show yeah, me? Let's, let's do a check in. Let me save this file right quick. All right. Cool. That's too. I saved it. But uh, I think I I pretty much got most everything that I wanted to do today, which is like dude, nice lighting, shadow, you know, getting the lights, basic materials. You know, I still have to. Um, develop the cloth because the cloth is you know it's just got a basic bump on it right now like yeah yeah um so i gotta add you know more interest there i want to sculpt uh some fog like some clouds you were you know using that technique you used on cthulhu right because i feel like a bed of fog would here would be really really oh dude it'd be awesome yeah uh just kind of you know mystical magical rolling fog yeah, and it'll it'll be cool to see that green light hitting the fog as well. Yeah, like, yeah, passing through kind there, of kissing that in on the in the Photoshop side as well. That'll be cool. But uh, he's looking wicked. Yeah, it's gonna be dope, man. I mean, it looks like uh, you know, you're gonna have to print a collectible. I might have to print it. God, I am my. That's a piece, dude. I am that's ready a, to. Uh, that is a piece. I'm nearly ready to uh, block, uh, put plunk down on a new printer. So I'm almost yeah. there, almost cool, at man. that point. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been straying away from, you know, I've got this guy, I've got a couple of guys that are armored, and I've I've popped them open. Even just trying to print scorpion, it's like this shit is so hard compared to just like it hurts real bad. Just like a you know, like my frog man, just like a regular dude. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't have anything. He's just a regular dude. He's just doing stuff. That's what, uh, that's what scares extra me stuff about. On there. It's, it's difficult, man. That's what scares yeah. me about doing something like this. Yeah. I, I just, I, you know, I think about all the thin bits that work great for mm -hmm. modeling, but then 3D printing, I'm like, uh. Yeah, it's but, tough. But we'll see. I mean, the, yeah. But maybe Sideshow will want to print this. Yeah, dude. Maybe yeah. they'll hit you up. Yeah, maybe they'll hook me up. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen. Not but gonna I'm here. Happen. I'm here for it if it happens, though. But yeah, so pretty excited. I think I, I checked off everything that I wanted to do with it. Nice, dude. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Uh, let's uh, take me through it. You're working on Dora. I was for a second. I was working the, on Dora. You saw the, that. The yeah, I've, Dora. I've been uh been doing some sculpting work on the I just started getting into some of this goodness over here this kind of just cheeky yeah. stuff main thing I did was some paint work just to kind of like a just to have the zebra scene not be a giant white model right uh, because it'll start really bothering you after a certain point well because you can't read shit yeah. you know oh man that looks great though so we've that got nasty yeah you like that that's yeah that. hell yeah that looks Dude, awesome i developed this crazy way of doing that i'll have to show it at some point but yeah i mean i've you know i mean the god there's just i mean the list is endless right there's just so much to do i do feel like i have really developed the head section yeah here nice. just kind of getting that i mean i want to pull up i want to see if maybe i have a let me just check right quick. I want to check and see if I have like some <clears throat> old renders of this thing just to show you guys like what it came from, right? Okay, here we go. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay, yeah, so here's the uh, here's the render, right? My man. And this is what he came from. Yeah, I mean, big difference. Right. Big, big so difference. this was this was like the little two hour initial sketch. I was like, I just want things to be split apart. And then I started realizing I was like, man, I want a bunch of armor on this guy. I want it to kind of be a bad guy to one of my other characters that I've created. So um, save that screenshot. But, you know, I, I really like uh, the direction it's gone. Right. It's a. Uh, not done yet obviously but man it's uh you know he's looking he's looking scary dude uh, Plus, I, uh that he looks great in key shot like i'm he's looking good right he's looking really good dude 
Yeah. All that's yeah. all that details really popping, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I just I gotta I gotta get him just a little bit of a uh, little bit of a pose to where he can hold this sword. You know, and I mean, dude, this like again, this sword is is gnarly. Oh, I guess I don't have it saved anywhere. That's okay. Okay, yeah. So here here's the deal, right? You go in here. That's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the sword. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hard. It's it's all these bones bound together all those traps too yeah yeah the straps just bound, and you know there's iron going through the through the whole wow. thing on the on the hilt and the and the handle so i want it to be this this a giant sword that he's just like lugging around you know ready to kill he's uh he's going to make people have a bad time and and that's what we're here for is the bad time Awesome. Well, thanks for coming to hang out with us, guys. Looks great, man. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining us on Creature Corner. And there we go. So, Matt, we'll see you next time on Creature Corner. Thank see you, you next week, our, brother. Thank you to our sponsor, Lenovo, for your blessings and love. Thank you to Noman School of Visual Effects. We have a new uh, we have a new host of Archetype, which is uh, Letitia Gillette. I think I said that right. Um, who worked on Encanto and many other Disney projects. Nice. Um, so she's hosting uh, Archetype now, taking over for, for Josh. Um, I'm very excited for that because she's she's uh, if you've seen her sculpture, it's amazing. Mm. Uh, like nails the Disney style aesthetic. Wow. Uh, yeah. yeah, incredible. So uh, check that out. Join us again next time. Uh, if you want to hang out with us, you want to, you know, say hi to us. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Jared Krzyzewski. Good luck spelling my name. I can't. <laughs> uh, or you can find me on the Twitty at MonsterMash042. Matt, of course, at Twitty is at itchy tasty underscore. underscore and then uh on instagram is at matt millard 3d that is so thanks for hanging out uh stay safe out there we love you guys uh keep making some monsters and we'll see you next time later guys